to get you the latest on the Air India fiasco then. With flights cancellation on the back of crew members taking mass sick leaves, the aviation ministry has asked the airlines to resolve the issues and set things in place as per the DGCA norms. Air India Express Employee Union have also written a letter to Tata Sun's chairman and we'll discuss this uh, more uh, you know, with our guest today but let's listen to some of the voices that are on ground. We wait for here uh, till six, six more than six hours, but the flight was cancelled. We were, we are inside the airport for six to seven hours. We didn't get any water, anything, nothing. We get in. I am supposed to fly today, or eight thirty to Muscat. I came here at five o'clock in the morning. Then, then I came to know it was cancelled. So then I fight with them so much. Then finally I got the ticket for tomorrow. The refund also they provide only after two weeks. They told they will refund, but fourteen days after the travel. We don't have any use for the 14 days. And well, uh, we are joined by our guest captain C.S. Randhava, who is the president of Federation of uh, Indian Pilots, joining us to weigh in on the situation. Hello, Mr. Randhava. Welcome to Rush Hour. Uh, Mr. Randhava, you know, uh, looking at the on ground situation, 86 flights as uh, you know, uh, have been cancelled as 300 cabin crew goes on mass leave, uh, mass sick leave. Now the Air India Express Employees Union has also written a two-page letter to the chairman of Air India citing concerns such as you know, growing unrest, nepotism and dissatisfaction amongst employees following the takeover of the airline. What is going to be the way forward to tackle this problem? Because this is a fairly unprofessional way of dealing with the situation. You see, uh, as far as the number of crews are concerned, uh, Air India Express has sufficient number of crews. Uh, they have got 1,000 plus uh, cabin crew, in which the lead cabin crew is almost 380. For 51 aircraft, that is 48 uh, Boeings and three Airbus 320s. So as far as the number of crews are concerned, they are comfortable. But what I learn is uh, that uh, there have been issues which have been simmering among the cabin crew uh, regarding uh, some sharing of rooms and uh, not getting adequate rest because of sharing of rooms. And that is one of the points. And uh, then uh, some other points leading to SOD travel. Um, by uh, There is a disparity between Air India and Air India Express. So there all these uh, issues are there which uh, have been simmering since last uh, few months uh, this is what i learned and um, this has culminated into mass reporting sick uh, of the cabin crew now going forward uh, the management senior management uh, of the airline has to uh, somehow tackle all these issues uh, to ensure that uh, these all these areas of, of concern which are there should be addressed properly and um, that will resolve the problem. Right, Mr. Randhava, but in this whole internal tiff, whatever may be the reason, the ultimate loser is the passenger, right? There are people who are stranded, Absolutely, there are people who, who, have not, uh, who have not got their refunds, uh, you know, who, who has already paid the money up front. Now, shouldn't the passengers be insulated uh, by the airlines in such cases or now should the passengers start paying for the travel, uh, you know, after the travel is undertaken? I, I fully agree with you, the passenger... Uh, requirement comes first okay any 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 crew whether it is cabin crew or cockpit crew any airline in the world okay they have to consider that uh, before taking such steps but uh, unfortunately i don't know what is the um, uh, uh, internal uh, issue uh, as far as the senior management getting involved and re resolving these issues so the I fully agree that it causes a lot of passenger inconvenience. If you recollect a couple of years back, um, DGCA came out with a regulation for the pilots um, in which they said that the notice period had to be served when they were pilots who are you know um, going from one airline to another airline. So the reason being uh, for DGCA to issue those instructions was basically that passengers cannot be 
the targets every time uh, whenever such a situation arises and uh, people go on strike or uh, do a mass sick report it's a serious issue and i fully agree that uh, that this shouldn't uh, um, uh, shouldn't have taken place first of all now who's responsible that the airline has to now fix uh, the uh, onus on on certain people who have not handled the situation properly and which has led to this secondly uh, what you said about the passenger refunds uh, the airline should have catered for uh, the you know passengers uh, handling the passengers from uh, misconnected flights and uh, also refunds if they were not able to give them uh, the date of travel of their choice then the refund should have been made All right Mr Randhawa thank you so much for joining us today with on that note we will let you go But moving on uh... If you like this video then like share and subscribe to ET Now